Greetings friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel. I want to talk about the new normal. It's an expression we've been hearing a lot, of, particularly since the COVID situation. I'd like to start out by reading something from uh, Michael Snyder from his Economic Collapse blog. Thoughts on the new normal and the things that we are losing as a society. The last two years have greatly shaken America and our country will never be the same as a result. If you'd have told someone two years ago that in 2021 millions of people would run around wearing masks all day, and that the federal government would be relentlessly pushing a large-scale mass injection campaign, that person probably would have thought that you were nuts. But now this is the new normal. More than 70 million Americans filed new claims for unemployment benefits last year. Homeless encampments started popping up like mushrooms all over the country and countless numbers of small businesses shut down permanently. We're also losing the peace on our streets. Murder rates were way up in major cities all over America in 2020, and in most of these cities, they're even higher this year. These days, we seem to be losing control of just about everything, and that even includes technology that we've become dependent upon. Hackers are causing nightmares for large entities all over the U.S., America no longer resembles the nation that our founders sacrificed so much to establish. And if we stay on the path that we're currently in, there is no future ahead for us. We've already lost so much, and a new normal truly is horrible. But if America does not wake up, things are only going to get worse. Well, the reality is the U.S. is not going to have a future without national repentance, and it is going to be gone probably within the next decade. Now, Michael Snyder didn't mention a variety of things. For example, one thing he didn't mention is debt. The Biden administration proposed a $6 trillion budget, which means more debt, and everybody keeps acting like all this debt is good, it's part of the new normal. But in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, it talks about a prophecy for the time of the end and warns that even though it looks like it's going to be delayed, a highly indebted nation will be destroyed and be no more. Furthermore, something else Michael Snyder didn't mention in his article was the LGBTQ agenda, uh, abortion, males competing as females. Those things are becoming more normal, supposedly. In the five cities area where I'm doing this from, we read something that happened this week in the city of Royal Grande. Pride is celebrated annually in June. Tonight, the Royal Grande City Council took a small but important step towards a more inclusive community and unanimously approved the establishment of a city flag display policy and authorized the display of the LGBTQ Pride flag at City Hall and Heritage Square Park for Pride Month in June. The city posted on social media. This is not a good thing. I want to go to the book of Isaiah and read from Isaiah chapter 3, verse 9. This will be from the New King James. The look on their countenance witnesses against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to their soul, for they have brought evil upon themselves. They're not hiding sin. They're promoting it, this flag. Now I want to go into the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 16. Starting verse 49. Look, this was the iniquity of your sister Sodom. She and her daughter had pride, fullness of food, and abundance of idleness. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw fit. The LGBTQ agenda is an abomination. And they push pride, which the Bible warns against. But that's the new normal. Instead of condemning sexual immorality, more and more in society are celebrating it and approving of it. And that's not going to end up well. Now, I'd like to go into something that the Biden administration released about the Equality Act. And this is actually uh, from Joe Biden himself, U.S. President. Full equality has been denied to LGBTQ plus Americans and their families for far too long. On my first day in office, I was proud proud to sign an executive order on preventing and combating discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. 
No one should ever face discrimination or live in fear because of who they are or whom they love. As far as who they love goes, the Bible clearly condemns sexual sins and many of them as abominable. We actually also made a video about this called the U.S. Pushing Immoral uh, Leadership. Now I want to read another report about the Equality Act. Let me start off with a headline. Joe Biden's War on Women, Equality Act to End Legal Recognition of Biological Sex. President Joe Biden released a statement Friday urging Congress to swiftly pass the Equality Act, a bill that would eliminate the legal recognition of male and female sex, cater to gender ideology, and designate protection for the unborn as pregnancy discrimination. The so-called Equality Act is legislative malpractice that turns equality on its head, said Brian Anderson, President of Ethics and Public Policy Center. It sacrifices the equality, safety, and privacy of women while privileging men who identify as women. If this bill becomes law, they'd have a civil right to spend a night in a battered woman's shelter, disrobe in a woman's locker room, and compete on women's sport teams, even, in, even children at kindergarten to 12 public schools. Religious institutions fare no better. Religious schools, adoption agencies, and other charities would face federal sanction for operating according to basic biology and mainstream biblical teaching on sex and marriage. Outrageously, this act exempts itself from the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Anderson noted that any questioning of medical, transgender medical treatments and surgeries would be labeled discrimination if the Equality Act becomes law. Now I'd like to read a, a tweet. A new study that examined students who claim to have gender identity issues found that compared with 45% of students who are comfortable with the biological sex, 78% of gender disturbed students meet the criteria for at least one mental health problem. And that's actually how it used to be treated. But now it's considered normal. I'd like to uh, also mention that the 117th Congress, and we did a video on it, uh, decided you couldn't use gendered words, which is another absurdity that uh, is going down that shouldn't have happened. Now I'd like to read something else about the transgender movement. Transgender fender bender. U.S. judge rules in favor of males residing at Christian college female dorms using showers. A federal judge ruled that students who identify with the opposite sex must be allowed to share private spaces in dorms at a Christian college in Missouri. These types of things that are the new normal in the United States are simply not good. Now, there were prophecies about some of this stuff for the end times. Uh, I want to go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 read some things from the Apostle Paul. I'll read the scripture, but also make some comments as we go through this. But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come, says so an end-time prophecy. Men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, pro boasters, proud, remember we're talking about pride, and pride flags and stuff, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanders, without self-control, brutal, it is brutal to commit abortions or to cut people's uh, biological organs off. They're despisers of good and one of the things with the Equality Act is going to make it so that religious organizations can't supposedly discriminate or they can't actually do or make certain decisions based upon their religious beliefs. Traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people turn away for of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives gullible women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So yeah, people are learning and they think we're growing with this new normal. But we're not. This is not a good thing. Now, some other things in terms of the new normal in the United States have to do with religion. So I'd like to read something related to that. 
George Barna, director of research for the Cultural Research Center, says that radical spiritual revolution has created a generation seeking a reimagined world without God, the Bible, or churches. Generation X and millennials have solidified dramatic changes in the nation's central beliefs and lifestyles, explained Barna. The 2021 report revealed more than two dozen examples of millennials ages 18 to 36 being substantially more likely than any other generation to reject biblical principles in favor of a more worldly spiritual perspectives and practices. They are significantly more likely than older Americans to define success in terms of personal happiness, condone abortion if pregnancy inhibits personal happiness, it says. They see premarital sex as moral, morally acceptable. This doesn't sound good. And there's a warning about a generation who thinks that their ways were right when they're not. I'm going to go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30, starting at verse 12. There's a generation that's pure in its own eyes, yet it is not washed from its filthiness. There's a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. They're lifted up in pride, saying this is a good thing to celebrate sin. It's not. Now, I want to go to the book of Romans. And I want to read from the Old King James Version. I'm going to go to Romans chapter 1, starting verse 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things which are made, even His eternal power and Godhead. So they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And this is what we're seeing as the new normal. Now let's pick it up in verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also, the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, <clears throat> boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Pro-abortion, pro-sexual immorality, anti-God people are increasing, and this is part of the new normal. Jesus had some warnings. I'm going to read from uh, Mark 13, verse 8. There will be Famines and troubles, these are the beginning of sorrows. Now in Matthew 24, verse 12, he did talk about the beginning of sorrows, Matthew 24, but then he says, Jesus says, And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Yes, lawlessness and hypocrisy is abounding without real love. After warning about lawlessness and the love of many growing cold, in Matthew 24, Jesus then said, But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world as a witness to all the nations, then the end will come. If you are a faithful Christian, you need to endure to the end. Much of the new normal is not good. The media is making it sound like these things are great, but they're not. Don't be part of promoting lawlessness. Jesus will return. Comfort each other with those words, but don't fall for what's called the new normal. The debt and sexual immorality, etc., affecting the United States will lead to its destruction. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel.